We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. That's a lot of pages. About dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible! The first time I handled a Prothean artifact, I was hooked. It was so... alien. I just knew. There's more out there, and I want to see all of it. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me? Out there? With the guns and the danger and everything. I'm good with guns and danger. I could teach you and make sure you're okay out there. Really? Maybe one day, when things are more settled. I couldn't imagine a better teacher. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. You definitely have an interesting perspective on the interplay between faith and science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I'd like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? With what it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet. Or completely span it. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I take it you work closely with the Nexus science team? 
I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. FTL sensor. So a faster-than-light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by... enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. I'm really glad you volunteered to join our crew, by the way. I am too. You galaxy and all. I'm honored to be here. No, I mean... I think you're cute and I like seeing you up here. Oh my goodness, writer! Also, the accent. The accent is... I mean, it's not the only thing, but... Uh... Okay, I should just go over there to the piloting thing. Kill. Me. Now. Writer, thank you. And so you know, the feeling's mutual. Yes! I mean, time to pathfind. Serious business. Saving everyone. <laughs> the discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager... Let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found god. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 volts the Angara is ice. And those oceans frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Get out and push. Very funny, Ryder. Callow, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. 
The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Is there a rush? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So, radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. If you think that means you're alone, you're wrong. Thank you. You saying that means the world to me. I'll take comfort in the people I've met here. And if you ever need me, I'm here for you too. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. Just not when Gil is glowering at me. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. 
Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. He'll know how much we need Meridian. We have to warn the Nexus. We have to move. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Tea, Sarah? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never going to taste this again. I'm never going to see that again. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. And Suvi, the threads you followed led you here to me. How could that have been a mistake? Of everything I've encountered in Helios, you are by far my favorite. Sarah. Don't do this to me. Not unless... you really mean it. I know. And I'm serious. Serious about us. Oh, right. <laughs> Your people don't really do relationships. Biological and cultural disinclination. You're happy. She seems happy. That's all I need to know. It's almost unbelievable that some of the Ket would be fighting their own. The Ket always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. I wish we saw more of that fighting. Wouldn't shed a tear if they wiped themselves out. Whatever they've done, they're still a unique, fascinating species. It's hard for me to wish them all dead. Anyway, about this Ket device you found by their destroyed ship, it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some Ket? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those Ket genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time at... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but, it, but it's not. It's... It's... Uh... It just locked onto a transmission. Oh crap! Turn it off! Who knows what it's doing? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is... audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurns tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Someone's really upset at the Archon. A collectivist culture would take a harsh view of any action that defied the will of the group. And isolating the Ket here would breed resentment. They may feel... abandoned. Cat feeling abandoned? Some things are universal. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. 
What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. Hello, Sarah. Pathfinder, may we discuss your romantic attachment? Alright, but I hope you already know where babies come from. My experience of such attachments was a long-established relationship. Cherished, familiar, but tragic. Mom and Dad. I have never known the beginning of an attachment. Perspective on your partner would place it in context. I really care about her, and I hope she feels the same. All life strives for connection. Now I understand better. Thank you. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barra, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. The only Pathfinder still on that list is Ryder. And it's not even the original. But there's new names. Because of you. Take care of my ship, and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Wow. Look at all this. The Scourge did a number here, didn't it? To think this was supposed to be the Turian home, now the Exiles have taken over. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. How good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? In normal situations, they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. So, stick to the Nomad. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. There you are. Feels like I've been waiting forever. Meridian. Set on a path its creators, disrupted by the Scourge, now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, think of Meridian as the ship, and the Scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. That's genius. The Scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course. But it illustrates the point. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance at finding Meridian. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The Initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself, collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, 
I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path. We have a plan. Now let's make it work. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. It's my night off. Just checking in. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Scott. He's a troublesome patient. So you're not really taking the night off. <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You love what you do. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my exes. How do you do it? Be both Sarah and the Pathfinder. Work is work. Life is life. I try not to mix the two. What about Suvi? Well, there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> of course. The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. Back in the Milky Way, did it feel like this when you were out looking for Prothean artifacts? Are you kidding? This is way better. I wouldn't have said it, but I'm glad you did. No offense to the Protheans. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater, greater than us, greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith, because that's what faith is. Thank you, Ryder. You always know how to make me feel better. It's why you're so great. You just get me. Sarah, Ugh, you gave me a fright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. I must have lost track of time. I was just scanning Jardan prototypes for an interactive model I'm building for the team. Wait, stand here and I'll show you. It, it's not complete yet, but... Wow. You're looking at the building blocks of life in Helios. This... This is what I came here to find. And I've only just started. It's beautiful. Sorry, did you say something? I said, it's beautiful. You mean the display, right? Your insatiable curiosity about the universe. Your faith. Your love of science. To be honest, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you don't have to be. We just click on so many things it feels right and comfortable and safe. Science is my calling and my passion, but you, you're my home. Lock the door. I know I said we should go out, but I want to stay here forever. I'd love nothing more than to stay here forever with you. <laughs> I wish. The team might have something to say about that when they try to get in here. But I'll take this moment for as long as it lasts. Because it's perfect. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. Alright folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or 
we could fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, montage. Don't cut bits out. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene. Going once. Going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. I think a charm offensive might be more... rewarding. Mm, yes. Classic irresistible hero, pretend to be captured. Meet up armor, enticing scars, and soulful eyes. Yeah, yeah, the old dinner and drinks to show off my villainy. They get cozy. And then strike! Or not. <laughs> Why spoil the evening? Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Baron's Jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait! Lesson! Rats. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Who fought it? Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. It isn't fair. He was so young and Salarian. He had so much to give. Writer, I can't feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. Uh, do you even have a gallbladder? Oh no, it's worse than I thought. Oh. 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 No! Damn you! Damn you all! Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you a thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax, so many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Approximating remnant ship dynamics. Sam? Building predictive model. Between the remnant city Meridian and however the Scourge fits in. Pardon my Martian, it's all weird as shite. Seems busy up here. Did I get what we needed? You got us something, all right? The key to it all. In here. The mother of all navigational aids. Take that back to the remnant city, find an override, and their ships will fly the same vector as Meridian. With correction for the Scourge, you'll have its exact location. The heart of the Vault Network. We can do it. You have such a way with words. I mean, you made me want to go charging into battle. Me. The science team is keeping me updated on any breakthroughs they make that might help. I know what you just went through, and this... This is going to take more from you. I need to know that you'll be okay. That you're gonna come back. As long as I have you to come back to. You know you do. Then I'll be home soon.
Sarah, I'm getting insane readings from all over the cluster. What you've done here is... is just amazing. Put the Omni tool down, Suvi. You can look at that later. Look at all this data. The energy spikes from the biogenesis alone are... mind-boggling. I know I can't compete with your first love, but... I thought you were planning to stay in bed today. A ghetto can change your mind, can't she? Besides, I remembered I had things to do. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know, I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Aww, do you need a hug? <laughs> There's people around. A tad embarrassing, no? I'm fine. Just happy. With you, Meridian, everything. I know things won't be perfect, but right now, I almost believe they could. Where to next? I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I go where the science is, as you know. Well, lucky you, Dr. Anwar. Science is everywhere. Lucky me, indeed. Do I have to be here for this? <laughs> yeah, it's a tough life, buddy. Just go... Pathfind.